Well guys, got to Wellington. Absolutely horrendous night. It was shocking. The boys, the boys lost the match, unfortunately, lost the final. But hey, young team, playing against veterans. The lads did well. The night last night, man, Wellington, it's known as the Windy City. Incredible. I've, ne I've never witnessed wind like this. I've never experienced wind like this at all. It's just insane. You can hardly stand up out there. It's crazy. The van was rocking and rolling all night. It, it was just, oh, hardly slept. Just crazy stuff. I'm itching to get back on the road and, and get back get back to the bay because, uh, phew, yeah, I need that. I need some sunshine. <laughs> I need some uh, some calm, calm weather. And that's not what we've got here. What we have got here are some incredible conditions uh, for some photography. Unfortunately, the problem is when you're outside the van, trying to keep the tripod steady, not happening, not happening. So uh, I'm just sort of driving around Lyle Bay and Shelley Bay, which is on the opposite side of the city, the main city, and. I'm just, just grabbing a few shots as I'm driving along. It's uh, jump out of the van, grab a quick shot, get back in the van, drive to another location and, and, and so on. So it's, it's a little bit, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. It's, it's thunderous. This wind is thunderous. Insane stuff. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of push on a little bit further. A little lighthouse just down the road called Port Halswell. Port Halswell? Halswell, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get a shot of that. Don't know, don't know. Yeah, insane. Anyway, let's uh, let's push on a bit. I've spent two days in Wellington fighting horrendous wind, gale force wind, and uh, on my way back, it's been a slow, steady sort of meander back because, uh, yeah, the, the vehicle, high-sided vehicle, it's been uh, been getting blown about by the wind quite uh, quite a bit on the road. So I've taken it steady, pull off the road every five minutes when I see something I fancy photographing, and uh, this is one of those occasions. And, and now back in back in the Hawke's Bay region, my home region. And this is the southern, southern slopes of the Ruahini mountain range. It's beautiful, absolutely glorious. Seeing if I can pick a spot that, that will make a nice photograph. And I think I've got that. I've just sort of climbed over a fence. Apologies to the, uh, the landowner if he, if he sees this video. Uh, nothing was damaged, nothing was hurt. There's no stock in the paddocks. And uh, I'm taking a couple of quick photographs, mate. Then I'm out of here. Uh, beautiful bit of land, by the way. We've got this valley. The sort of river valley, I'm not sure what river it is. Maybe the Maka, Maka 2 river, I'm not sure. I'll find out later, I'll, I'll check that out and put a, put a link below which river it is. But it's running from the Rohini Ranges and it sort of meanders through this, through this little valley. Uh, we've got some lovely moody clouds overhead, which are passing over quite quickly. And then every now and then you get a glimpse of sunlight that comes through and lights up the, uh, 
lights up the foothills and it's just oh man it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so what i'm doing in fact that's looking quite nice i'm just gonna sneak out a shot now dark slide out shot f11 one fifteenth of the second iso 100 and it's kodak hectare that i'm using so that's it guys i've taken two shots of this scene and it's that'll do me it's beautiful i really do need to get on the road get back to base get a good night's sleep under my belt because last night was just horrendous no sleep whatsoever shocker absolute shocker i've still got about a maybe maybe an hour 20s drive back so nice and steady listen guys real quick one thanks for sticking with this thanks for watching it i'm pretty sure there'll be a couple of nice photographs for you to have a look at until next time guys catch you later cheers Thank you.